So a couple of years ago I stumbled upon this project that people were doing to automate their smokers using a temperature controller, a solid state relay, and a PC fan to help regulate the temperature for long smokes like something that could take all day like a butt roast. So what I ended up doing is taking it a few steps further and using an Arduino to control this PC fan at a variable speed instead of the on-off switching like you'd see with these temperature controllers. And what started out just using a PC fan, it ended up switching over to a hobby servo to control a damper since my smoker was a little too drafty and didn't really need a fan at all. Went from being just a simple project to EEPROM saved multiple settings and menus on the screen. One thing I did notice that gave me quite a bit of trouble is using the thermocouple amplifier I had is for non-grounded thermocouples. I actually found it was almost better just to put the thermocouple inside and somehow manage not to ground itself out. Even though I pulled the thermocouple out of its stainless steel jacket and tried to insulate it as best I could, somehow I'd get crazy faulty readings. After I got the hobby servo figured out, I ended up just finding some junk metal laying around and welding myself up a nice little damper and connecting it. Be careful because too close it gets hot. It gets very hot and I'm actually surprised I haven't burnt up this hobby servo yet. So first booting it up you can see I automatically have a menu that allows me to press two buttons and load my settings from EEPROM. So walking through the menu here's my main menu shows my temperature my output and set point. And yeah, it's actually probably 54 degrees in my workshop right now. Then you can go through the menu button and you can get your PID settings. You have your proportional, integral, derivative, and then we have our sample time and this kinda allows the PID to cope with the the long hysteresis of the smoker and then we can have an option to save our PID settings to EEPROM then we have as I should say as well as PID settings we can say we can also serve servo positions save servo positions so anybody can actually plug their servo into this and they can just go and adjust their positions for their servo just like that and then I guess I would recommend once you find your servo positions for your smoker that you have built, I would actually load it right into the Arduino so you don't ruin anything. So I have an auto setting here which allows me to adjust my set point. Otherwise, if I want to go to manual, I can actually adjust my output. And if you look at the servo here, I can adjust this position of my servo using up and down. Otherwise I can flip back to auto and we're back at 100%. I apologize for being such a mess. As this started out being a pulse with modulated MOSFET, I ended up switching it around and I do have one available pin yet but I'm actually using the buttons up here. I'm actually running them to my analog input and I'm just measuring whether or not it's 5 volts or 0 volts and whichever side in the middle is on that gives me my input. Then I'm also using resistors to drag those one direction. So walking through it, I apologize, it is a little bit of a mess. Right here I have a 5 volt regulator. Down here is my 5 volt rail. Now the Arduino does have a 5 volt output pin but we need one with enough power to drive the hobby servo. Here we have an Adafruit thermocouple amplifier. That's the Max 3. That's the Max 31855. Then we have a potentiometer that works with the screen. A lot of these wires here are just for driving the screen. We got a couple wires for the amplifier. And other than that, there's not a whole lot to this thing. Using all these components are actually pretty easy. The screen, there's plenty of information online, as well as the amplifier and 5 volt regulators. You just have an in wire, an out wire, and a ground. So if you think this is something you'd like to build, I'd say go for it. It's really easy to do, 
and I'll try and publish my sketch online so you guys can just copy and paste it. And there it is. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not really good at doing this video thing. Let me know how I did. Hopefully I covered everything well enough. Some things might be hard to follow, but there's a lot of good information online. And if you look and find and put all the pieces together, what I have here is actually really simple to do. And if you were to just take my software, what I already put the time and effort into, and use it, go for it. It'll work great. And you guys tweak it, make it better, however you think it should be. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it.